Hello everyone, AJ Ryzik here. I've received a few emails lately asking about the Unity Tweak tool, so that's what we'll be talking about today. If you're not familiar with this tool, it is a graphical interface that functions as a setting manager for the Unity desktop. It provides users with a fast, simple, and easy to use interface to access features and settings of the Unity desktop. Now before this tool was available, users either had to use the deconf editor or play around with configuration files to change some of the settings in Unity, which are not necessarily uh, easy tasks for the new user. So, hence the this tool was developed. I remember, like I said, this tool is for the Unity desktop, so those that are using, you know, XFCE, GNOME, LXDE, Cinnamon, you know, all those other desktop environments, this this tool is not going to work for you. This is only for the Unity desktop on, you know, I, I guess you could call it Ubuntu Prime or regular Ubuntu, however you want to call it. Anyway, we're going to start this tutorial off by installing the uh, installing the tool so let's go and open up the Ubuntu Software Center and we can just do a quick search by typing in tweak and you can see there's actually a couple of different tweak tools available um, there's the mate desk tool there's the gnome tweak tool we want this unity tweak tool right here so open that up and click install put in our password and give it a second to install now of course those of you that uh, are familiar with the terminal you know you can install it via the terminal or synaptic package manager wh however you like to install stuff but um, you know since this tutorial is mainly geared towards the new users out there that's why I figured I'd use the uh, use the software center so we're installed Let's close up the software center and we'll open up the tweak tool and uh, start playing around with a few things. All right, let's open this up. Here we are in the Unity tweak tool. And I'm not going to cover every single thing, but I'll kind of highlight some important things here. You know, install this tool and just play around with it so that you can, uh, you know, get a feel for everything that's here. If you go under launcher, this has got settings for the launchers. Down at the bottom, you can play around with some animations for the icons. And uh, up here at the top, you can go and set your launcher to auto hide if you like. Get it out of the way so you get more screen real estate. And then just by moving your mouse over to the to the left hand side, your launcher reappears. And then you got some animation settings right there. Under the search. Here's one for if you've got a low spec computer and you're running Unity on it. Um, one thing that I have found is that a lot of times when you run the dash search, it kind of bogs down on you, search is slow, that sort of thing. If you go and change your background blur to off, it will significantly speed things up for you. And, and here's what I'm talking about. Let me go and hit my... Uh, my windows key so you see how it blurs everything in the background just switching that to off now it doesn't blur the stuff in the background and I realize that doesn't seem like a big change but it uses significantly less RAM and processor so if you got a low spec computer this will definitely help and also sometimes uh, um, depending on your video card uh, it, sometimes the video card doesn't play nice with that background blur this a lot of times will help fix that issue as well but anyway while we're talking about the search function from here you can go and play around with what is actually searched so if you don't want to do the online sources get get rid of uh, the more suggestions the recently used if you just want to search your applications and your files boom you can do that here or if you just want to make it for finding applications only you know set something like that and boom you're ready to go under panel you got some settings for the panel there how you want your date and time displayed power icons that that sort of thing um, and and a few little settings here for the for the uh, switcher here under app, web apps if you don't want to have the uh, the the links for Amazon and of course Ubuntu One is no longer around. But if you don't want to have those uh, those 
those uh, web apps available just go and, and click those right there and then uh, you got a few little extra settings here for uh, the the HUD some keyboard shortcuts that sort of thing alright under window manager general settings right here we've got do you want desktop magnification on and off some hardware acceleration stuff some basic window animations now you don't have all the options as far as window animations goes you don't have all the options that you do if you install uh, the config uh, compiz configuration manager um, but it gives you a, a few basics right here and uh, just do a little point and click to set those up uh, we've got some workspace settings now right now I've just got the setup for a single workspace but if you want to use multiple workspaces and have a workspace switcher just click it on here it adds, you a, sw adds a switcher to your uh, to your launch bar and then you can configure you know how many horizontal and vertical workspaces you want um, and then we've got some window spread settings window snapping settings uh, hot corners since I'm very much a keyboard kind of person I'm not very big into the hot corners but I know quite a few people that really really like to configure their uh, their hot corner so this gives you a little tool that that can make it a little easier to set those up and then here under the additional category we've got some uh, window focus behavior settings title bar act actions that sort of thing and appearance this is some of the fun stuff here from here you can go and change around themes icon changes cursor changes change your fonts um, play around with the anti-aliasing the hinting uh, text scaling all that kind of stuff uh, play around with the window controls here at the, at the very end and then coming down to system settings you can play around with desktop icons uh, personally I like a completely clean desktop don't want anything on there um, but I know a lot of people that that want to be able to stick the the home folder that kind of stuff on their uh, on their desktop so here's where you can play around with that some security settings here and scrolling settings here on at the very end and here on the scroll bars you can go and you see right now it's selected for overlay and go to behavior and you can go default overlay with mouse no overlay or you can go back to legacy scroll bars and then for your touch scrolling do you want edge or two finger scrolling and that pretty much covers this tool um, you know like I said there uh, a lot of things here it, it's stuff that yeah there's other ways to configure it but it kind of packs it all in one nice little tool and uh, uh, mainly for new users it makes a lot of the stuff uh, a whole lot easier to configure anyway that about finishes this video up as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below uh, give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on the next video thanks a lot